So today I'm going to be showing you guys my speed run for the world's hardest game. Now, first of all, to get a couple of things out of the way while we're on the easier levels, which I don't really have to explain as much. This is a commentary that is after the fact doing the commentary during while I'm playing the game. That would just be too difficult for this game. I mean, it's called the world's hardest game. You think I would explain everything I'm doing while I'm actually doing the levels? That'd be a little too hard. So I decided I'm going to show you my PB and actually talk about what I'm doing after the fact. Now, another thing is this is the speed run version. So you can see there's the total time and there's the level time. It doesn't change anything about the game. It just helps you with speed running. So it's kind of different. It's downloaded onto my computer using my own individual flash player because rip flash, but it is the exact same thing. So you don't have to worry about that. And then finally, I want to say if you end up enjoying the video, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be honest and say it doesn't really help you out too much, but it helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. So I'd really appreciate it. But now that we got all that stuff out of the way and we're on to more of the harder levels, I can actually get to explaining the run. Now you'll notice we're just the red square trying to escape all these blue dots, just trying to go for our life. You know, we're just trying to survive. And one important thing is any levels with these yellow dot things, you have to collect them before you can complete the level. So in this one, we're just going as fast as possible so we can collect all of them. And you know, we made it, we can finish the level, go on to the next. There are 30 total levels right now. We're on level seven. And as you can probably guess from the game, it just gets harder and harder. I mean, some of these levels aren't the hardest thing in the world once you know what path to take and once you know how to do them. But in general, this game is just difficult. You really have to learn how to use your person and make sure that you don't die. Now in this one, it's pretty interesting. We can actually wait right here and we wanna grab that yellow pellet first because there is the thing in the middle and that goes on its own set cycle and you basically have to find the cycle that fits you best. I found that this cycle that I'm taking right now is the best one to take and I'm pretty comfortable with it. It might not be exactly the fastest, but a lot of times in this game and in the speed run, it's much better to just not die do something you're a little more comfortable with other than die and then lose a ton of time. But to be fair, that's also pretty easy for me to say because while I would say I'm pretty good at this game, I'm a pretty good speedrunner. I'm nowhere near the world record. And for the world record strats, you have to take the tightest path and you also have to not die doing any of it. Here, I'm doing some pretty hard paths. I'm trying to go as fast as possible, but for the world record path, yeah, I just am not at that level yet. I'd say I put about 25 hours into this game so far, but there are still so many more improvements I could make. But going back to actually explaining the run, you can see we have this big plus sign which rotates at set intervals, and we wanna try and make sure we don't die there. Now, it looks easy, but it is really tight. It's much tighter than it looks, but we were able to make that. I died there a lot before, and speaking of places I died a lot and places that are very tight, we have level 12, which you can probably see is yeah, it's a little bit cramped, just a little bit. And you can see I'm taking a little bit more time than I probably could, but it's very easy to die as you saw right there. And if you thought only one death was enough for this level, you might be sadly mistaken because we died right there too. Yeah, this was kind of a disappointing level, but it gets better as we go on. So I was just at this point, I was being really worried. I was taking my time because I did not want a third death on this level because we wanted to get a time that we were proud of. So I'm waiting here, waiting for this entire thing, which I maybe could have went a little sooner, but that little area is so precise and so scary. And if you get sent back, you got to get the yellow pellet and you got to go all the way back. So it is really hard to just lose that time. It hurts a lot. And speaking of hurting a lot, so for this level, if you just at the start are holding down and right, you will just go past this and win it right away. If you don't, you can do what I'm doing right here and wait a second, do it again. But you saw I got another death and another death on the same level. <laughs> And looking back at it, wow, this was really bad. Well, at least we move on from there. For some reason, I decided to keep going. I'm not sure, usually I would reset there, but I guess I knew that this run had something in it. And the thing is, if you die in the shorter levels, it doesn't matter as much as if you died at a level like this. If you died right at the end, that would be such a bigger time loss. It does suck because it does add to our death counter, but in the end of the day, we're just trying to speed run. So dying at the beginning of a level, it isn't as bad. I mean. I guess besides the mental strain it puts on me, but who cares about how I'm feeling? All that matters is that I'm going fast. And in this level, it's a hard one to go fast on because as you can see, what I'm doing is you got to kind of inch closer each and every time. You can't go too fast because you go faster than the blue things, 
and you want to make sure you don't get hit you don't lose time on this level because this is one of the longer levels where if you died on especially at the end that is a gigantic time loss that's like 30 seconds right there and for a shorter speed run like this game that's something that's really big well we were able to make it through this level without any deaths so i was worried for nothing and then we die right there but that death actually doesn't matter because we have to wait for this entire cycle anyway so it kind of is just there it adds to our death counter but it doesn't actually affect how fast we're going to go in the speed run so it kind of sucks because i mean i don't like having a high death counter but at the end of the day we're speed running we're just trying to go fast so we did what we needed to do and then this level is pretty interesting as you can see there are a lot of different yellow dots that we have to get so what i like to do is i like to take the top path first and get all those dots and then these ones are really hard because it's much tighter movement that you have to do but if we can get past through all of that then we can do this little movement that i like doing and this one feels really good unless you miss the dots like i just did there and i do that a couple of times here because for some reason my mind just wasn't letting me comprehend that i need to go higher like what 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 are you doing right now easy can, can you please get okay you finally did it how about we not make those mistakes again? Regardless of what just happened, I still really like this movement and I guess it's still happening. Can I please just do this? But we get through this, you know, the movement is a lot harder than it looks like a lot of things in this game, but hey, we got through it even if there were some troubles. And 19 is a level where we can hold up right at the beginning of the level and kind of just finish it. I really enjoy levels like that. And I also really enjoy this level because the movement just feels so good. It kind of feels like you're a spy infiltrating the base you're going in between all these different things and i don't know i really love this level it is a really good feeling level i mean it is also easy to die which is a reason why i took my time right there i could have went a tiny bit faster but yeah now i also have to wait for this cycle which kind of sucks but we still get it done we might have wasted like five seconds at least i didn't die there's always that part isn't there and then we get to this which is another one of these levels which is pretty interesting not my favorite level to be honest you kind of just have to be smart about when you're going up and yeah there's not really much to say about this level i'm going to be completely honest we just take the cycle we're comfortable with it's in the I, I could go a little bit faster probably but we made it so can this level just end already it's kind of awkward what i'm saying right now and this level is really cool so we want to follow this wait a second follow the next one and you're kind of just trying to go at just the right times. And I developed this strategy that I'm using right now here. I wait three cycles, go there, go here again, wait a second, go right there, boom, we're done. And that level is so much harder when you don't have that strategy I had. And speaking of hard levels, I hate this level. I hate this level because you have to get all these coins with this spinning thing and it is so easy to die. I almost died a couple of times right here. I could have already finished the level if I was just a little bit faster. And even right here, just because I didn't go right at the right time, we can't get to the goal, so we have to wait again. I hate that level, but we got it first try, so I guess it isn't that bad. And for this one, like it said at the beginning of the level, it isn't that hard if you know the trick. So the trick, or at least what I found the trick to be, is going right here, doing that little loop-de-loop, -loop, and now you're kind of just waiting in this cubby for a while. You have to wait for those pellets to come all the way back and then you can go back up, go through this entire place again. And all that's left is just easily sliding through there, making it to the end. And yeah, easy if you know the trick. And now the game taunts us with you're probably getting frustrated, which I kind of am watching this over again. There are so many small places I could have made better time saves, but whatever, because we're just going to keep going. This is my least favorite level of all of them. I die right there just because this section is so hard. You can't just go straight diagonal. You have to hold down, press right, press right, press right. You have to tap it a tiny bit, not too much, not too little. And it's so tight and hard. I can't explain it any better than that. I wish I could. You kind of just got to do it and hope it works. And then this part, they go by really fast. So you kind of just have to hopefully make it i've played this game enough to where i'm pretty comfortable with this part it's not too bad at that part i kind of go back and forth a couple of different times just because i want to make sure i can get it but there we go we can end the level and i'm pretty happy with the amount of deaths i got there and at this point my heart was beating 100 miles a minute like i was so nervous because i knew i was at the very end there were only a few more levels and some of these levels are harder than the rest like this one it isn't that bad especially if you get the first cycle which is the one i'm doing right now if you mess that up it can be a little more confusing but overall this level you can see it's pretty simple as long as you know what to do you just got to not be scared and finish it off right here 
which I am able to do. I almost got hit there actually, which would have been very bad. And this level is probably one of the more stressful ones just because you have to go ahead, do that little movement, which you can see it's not just holding a diagonal. It's kind of holding diagonal for a second, stopping, holding it again. It's a really weird angle that I don't love. And I also don't love dying here, but guess what? We don't do it once, we don't do it twice, we do it actually three times. But to be fair, this spot is actually really weird. You have to go forward, inch at those parts, and then right there, you have to hold left for a split second, then start holding up as well. You can't do it too far, otherwise you'll die. And it's just so weird. I am actually surprised I died that many times though, because usually it's not that bad, but it doesn't matter. We're just getting to the end. We can get the sub 12 and here. You're going to see me waiting. And that's because I'm waiting for the cycle that I'm comfortable with. Now it is a time loss, but I decided the time loss is worth it. If I can just actually finish the run. So you can see finally, after like 10 seconds of waiting, I'm finally going forward and doing this part. You can see me go left up, going a couple of times, going to this specific path that I developed for myself, looking at other runs and we were able to finish off the second to last level going to the final one the following level is impossible but it isn't at all <laughs> it's actually pretty easy to be honest if you just know the right cycle to go you have to do this cycle right away and if you don't it will kill you and then you have a much weirder kind of area but if you do it right away you have a set path and you can see this was streamed and ben in the past he was pretty happy I was really happy. And I mean, this definitely isn't the best time ever. The world record is actually, I think a five minute and 14 second run, but this was really important for me. I was really happy and you know, that's what speedrunning is about. I wasn't competing against world record. I was competing against myself. And I think this personal record that I got, it was a really good one. And yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on it. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm along with subscribing. You know, I'd appreciate both of those. Also, if you wanted to see the full experience for this, this was actually a four hour stream for me to get this time. So go follow my Twitch. It will be in the description as well, but enough shilling. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.